when I was in my bad place, I wouldn't say I was broken. I, I was just down and out, but that's what it, you feel like. You feel broken, you feel unnormal. And um, I'm really talking to those people, hoping that to inspire them to take action and reclaim their lives. <laughs> This show, I have Tashiana Noel, her book, You Have No Right to Stay Broken. And we're getting into it right now about moving forward and taking control of your life and also bringing forward inspiration. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the book mm -hmm. I, that I also happen to have the privilege of reviewing, love the book. It's perfect time Thanks. for the year. People are looking for inspiration. I found over the holidays, a lot of people are just, it's been that place of like just retreating and even hiding and what was coming up as I'm feeling people. But it's the new year and you're calling them mm -hmm. out. Calling them out with like yes. a declaration. <laughs> you have the right to be broken. What made you make that stand and say, here is how I can bring you forward. Um, I just feel like we're in a place right now where a lot of people are being affected by um, different vibrations and frequencies that are not necessarily always low, but sometimes they're just, we're on autopilot. And um, honestly, I just feel like we need to take a moment to determine where it is that we're trying to go, who we want to be, and commit to showing up as that person. Um, we all have these goals and dreams, but we talk about it. We're not doing anything about it and, um, we get stuck. And so the title, you have no right to stay broken, definitely meant to be an attention grabber, you know, like <laughs> was calling people out. Um, but it's also about acknowledging, like you have to commit to the work. You have to do what's necessary for you. Um, I don't think... I hate that I, I I push the limit with that or push buttons with that title because I don't even necessarily when I was in my bad place I wouldn't say I was broken I I was just down and out but that's what it, you feel like you feel broken you feel unnormal and um, I'm really talking to those people hoping that to inspire them to take action and reclaim their lives <laughs> and even feeling. As you're in the work, feeling off, we, we continue to have life happen as we're standing in our journey and we're just not always on, right? Yeah, for sure. I don't think anybody can be on all the time, um, but committing to having better days than better, more better days than not. I think is the idea. Um, just, you know, when you feel those bad days and you you don't want to go to work and you don't want to get out of bed and you don't want to take care of your responsibilities, <laughs> but you have to, um, you've got to push through. And um, we will push through and go to work and then we come home and we just kind of turn ourselves off sometimes, but you need to push through in order to heal yourself as well. And find a way to be happy is really what I want to kind of encourage people to do. So, yeah. I'm loving it. So we're exactly where we're supposed to be with your message. And again, I love the title. You don't have the right to stay broken. <laughs> so, so, and it's just people that are listening, whether they're in their pajamas, on the couch, or they're at, you know, at work, or now that we're going to be in the replay and listening to this when they have a little time, but it's resonating. It's resonating with all of us. What do you have to say with them from the first thing that they get to do after they get off of this, besides the links are going to be there that you're going to reach out, Tashiana. Okay. What's the first thing that you would say, okay, it gets to stop. I would say, determine that point of contention in your life. Determine who it is you want to be and how you want to show up. Write it down and start taking action to be that person and do those things. I think um, we so we're just led by so many fears and and you know society standards and like who 
cares? Like, just if you, I'm not telling everyone to quit their jobs, but if your job is a point of contention, like you need to figure out how you can quit your job and do what makes you happy. Um, I think that we should focus on being selfish. Be Make a list and be selfish. That's what the first thing I would suggest people to do. Think about what you want instead of what everyone has told you that you should be doing or um, what you think people want for you and just be selfish. So it starts with what do you want and really looking into that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. And again, there's people that they may not remember the last time someone actually really asked them that and then did. Yes, that, that how are you? Everyone's like, I'm fine, I'm good. I had a good weekend. We have our autofill answers, but like, take a minute and be like, really, how are you? And people are afraid to admit how they really are because they're like, oh, I don't want to be Debbie Downer. I don't want to, um, whatever. Just start be showing up authentically. Just, just be yourself and commit to doing things that you want to do and showing up the way you want to. With that, then I love the auto, auto autopilot autofill. So now they're standing saying, all right, I identified that this is what I want, but how do I even begin doing that? What would be that next step? Um, well, thankfully we have Google. <laughs> I mean, um, Depending on what it is, you know, there's so much stuff out there that you can do some research on. But I know a lot of people have like a lot of brain fog going on. They they are so into what they're doing on a day to day basis. They don't even know how to like bring themselves to do something else. Um, I don't know if that's fear again or if it's uh, subconsciousness, whatever it is. Um, take a leap of faith. Just um Take, do some Google things, compartmentalize, take baby steps, be patient with yourself. Um, as long as you're inching towards that, instead of staying on this plateaued level of autopilotness, um, where you're walking around like a zombie, I think that that's better than, than, one is better than the other. Moving forward, moving the needle just a little bit, rather than just not at all, and just saying, oh, okay, I'm content with where I'm, I'm at, and just staying stuck there. Okay. And, and you know, you, you had said that being selfish, but then the piece of doing something for yourself, that might even be the start, right? Yes, definitely. Um, a lot of people see selfishness as a bad thing, um, but it, all it means is prioritizing yourself and people calling it self-care. And I think all of that is great, but even self-care is being misconstrued right now. Everyone's like, self-care is me buying myself this thing I want and doing this. And But how are you pouring into yourself? How are you fulfilling um your goals, your dreams, your the loving yourself, um, caring for yourself in a way that's not superficial, but actually like registers in your heart and makes your heart smile. That's the type of selfish that I think people should be motivated to do. Um, however, you're going to be doing it. If that's getting your nails done, then sure, get your nails done. Make yourself feel good. If it makes your self esteem, you know, up boost your self esteem a few notches, then do that for sure. But don't just do it to be doing it because you want to look good for to fit in with the Joneses. Like that's not find out what makes you happy really in your own heart. So what I'm hearing you saying is first step, identify, really allow the space to to look at what do you want. Mm -hmm. and, and then the next thing is that even before that first step is to then start identifying you as a priority yes absolutely absolutely i had a i think when this happened for me um i was in a therapy session and my therapist was like tell me five things about yourself you know that you like and i was like i'm a good mother i'm a good daughter i'm a great employee like i have great work ethic and she was like tell me something about yourself that has nothing to do with something somebody else and I was like, I don't know. I did. I couldn't come up with anything. And she's like, "Do you think you're pretty?" And I was like, 
I mean, I don't really think about those types of things. And she is like, you don't even know who you are. <laughs> and that blew myself. And I, I made a list forget who I am just by being a mother, being a friend, being an employee. And I add to this list of the things that make me smile, the things that make me laugh, the things that fill me up because I... I wasn't, I was on autopilot too. I didn't know. And so once I started making that list of who I am all the time, who I want to be, what I enjoy, and then I started doing more of those things. It just start small, like take yourself to the movies if you like movies or, you know, um, it could be anything, just as long as it makes your heart smile. That's all that. There's so much wisdom and you have the best, like, lines that come out but what i'm here <laughs> saying is also there then take an inventory of who you are if you're naked alone in a room there's no one else who's standing and what mm-hmm. makes that person ama- what makes you amazing and beautiful and special yep Yep, that's um, exactly what it is. You, you, it's up to you to decide. That's what it is. Like not anyone else. So if you decide that your your thing is kindness and generosity, that's your thing. If your thing is patience, that's your thing. Um, focus on what you do well, not what you other people want you to do well. <laughs> I just I'm loving this introspective pause. Because this is truly what people can do, and it's what they're not doing. So it's they're missing this piece, and it's just at the beginning. I'm loving that. Okay, tell us a little bit about the book and what if someone picks up your book. Where does it bring them? Where do they get to go? How does their life become better with not staying broken? Yeah. <laughs> I think um, the book sums up in words exactly what I'm trying to say right now. It helps you identify who you are, why you're that way, um, and it helps you set goals. And then it helps you accomplish and achieve those goals um, based on what you want to do, not what I want for you or what your mother wants for you. Um, There's exercises in there that really make you put in the introspective work and become a little bit self-aware. Positively and negatively, where where how you have the triggers that you have, um, it just helps you go from A to Z, honestly. Um, and it's a highlighted overview, obviously. So it's one of those books you can read multiple times and take different things from it because it is from A to Z. But you might be at midway through, you're going to take something from it. The person that's just starting out is going to take something different. You might be towards the end. I I reread my own book because I have bad days and I get in auto, I'm not even just bad days, bad seasons, honestly. And I get in autopilot trying to, you know, just keep going, pushing forward, like Thomas the Engine. I'm like, I got to just keep going. And that's not really the way to be. Sometimes you need to take a pause and compartmentalize. So yeah, it really, it's really one of those books that will feed you. Um, And that's what I enjoyed writing about it. So it was really good. (laughs) I I love that it'll feed you. And that the, uh, the other piece too, is that it is something for everyone. And it's especially someone for you who are listening now. And then again, it's something that it's part of where you get to go as we're doing this thing called life, right? Yes. Yes, for sure. Okay. Well, obviously you have no right to stay broken. Mm -hmm. Where can people find you and what programs are you working on? And then what does that look like? Sure. Um, It is available everywhere books are sold online. I'm trying to get um, the paperbacks are available on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles, places like that. Uh, I can be found online at www.mywellbodyandsoul.com. I blog there. I'm working on a second book as well on social media. Oh, you're not excited. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. 
Yes, I am working on a second book. Um, honestly, these books have been therapeutic for me as well. It's my journey and my self-awareness and self-actualization and me passing the information to other people just because I have the resources and the time to put into my treatment. Um, I'm trying to provide that same information for people who don't have the time and the money to do it as long as that I have. I've been in therapy for over 10 years. And so it didn't, certain things are just kind of like mundane where I feel like therapists will kind of just get you to come back and come back and come back. Um, but then there are some people and some therapists that provide some exercises that are like, whoa, that really opened my mind. And those are the ones that I'm trying to relay to people. Um, the people that read the people, my blog, the people that read my book. Yeah. <laughs> so what you're telling me, the paperback, you can get the value of 10 years of really expensive therapy <laughs> and breakthroughs and revelations that you got. I mean, come on. There we go. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. And so I've actually, for some people who, you know, need a little bit more explanation of things um, that, you know, their families maybe are not into therapy or they don't believe into certain things, they might need a little bit more reprogramming or unlearning. I am putting together a course. I have a journal coming out, like other resources that connect well with different people that will produce the same effect. So I'm very excited about it on social media. You can find me Tashiana Noel on pretty much all the platforms. Um, my main po platform I post on is Instagram. Um, but I do have a Facebook and Twitter as well and a TikTok. So All right, okay, yeah. we're gonna have the links below. So again, it's you have no right to stay broken. Boom, 2023. Moving yes, yes. Forward and really lean into you. Yeah, and healing ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, everybody. This was amazing. Again, Tashiana Noel. So there we go. And again, get the book. You have no right to stay broken. All right. Thank you. And we look forward to the new book. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. The journal should be out first, but new book's coming soon. The last one took me, the first book took me four years to write. I'm hoping it doesn't take me as long to write this one, but the journal is done. Um, and like I said, I'm blogging um, regularly and providing free resources and tools on www.mywellbodyandsoul.com. Okay, website will be below too. All right, everyone. Mwah. See Thank you next you. time. <laughs>